The Lord say, come as you are. Come as you are. He accepts everyone. Homeless people, rich people, poor people, fat people, small people, black, white, Mexicans, Asians. God accepts everyone. Jesus Christ accepts everyone. As a Christian, that was very distasteful. As a Christian, that was very rude. As a Christian, you accept anyone that comes to get their prayer. You never deny no one, first of all, because you say you got lupus, right? Who can take that lupus away from you? The one you praying in that circle with, God. God can take that away from you, right? So why would you not embrace your fellow sister for God? God could have blessed you right then and there and cleared your lupus. You could have, that could have been your test right there. But instead, you, you failed. Because as messed up as Christian is, no matter what, you never deny no one the right to get that word. Now, I see a lot of people in the comments talking about, oh, it was very disrespectful for her to come interrupt the prayer circle. Would God have a problem with that? Ask yourself, would God have a problem with somebody interrupting the prayer circle? And then you come back and, and, and give me that answer and, we, and I'll be like, okay. Okay, let's be for real. Okay? So I feel like God set that up so he can show us who y'all really are, where y'all heart lies, because that needs to get fixed. That's why it was brought out to the light. Y'all wonder why stuff get leaked. It was leaked for a reason. Because God want us to see that. Never deny. You fellow Christians, y'all people coming up. I see a lot of people in the comments. Like, they really bashing Christian. Saying she was wrong. She shouldn't have dis Most of those people don't pay attention to those people. Most of those people do not believe in anything. They just own that spreading false narrative. All you believers out there. Trust me. No matter who it is. It can be a homeless person. If that, if that homeless person come up to you and say, man, can you pray for me? Can you hold my hand and pray for me? So you mean to tell me you're not going to hold as a Christian? You're not going to put your hands out and hold that homeless man's hands and, and pray for that homeless man? Now, I'm talking to Christians. I ain't talking to you non-believers. I ain't talking to you atheists. I'm not talking to you your Muslims. I'm not talking to no other religion. I'm talking to Christians. Don't let the internet fool you. Don't let the internet change your heart. As a Christian, that was very distasteful what those sisters did to that young lady. And this needed to be put out because those sisters' heart is not in the right spot. And I hope instead of trying to come on here on social media and try to defend yourself, y'all just need to be apologetic and say, you know what? We messed up. You right. That shouldn't have happened. I shouldn't have did that. And I apologize. That was wrong. In God's eyes, I feel like I was wrong. And just move on. But when you come out here and you trying to defend yourself and, and, and trying to justify why y'all didn't embrace her, talking about she interrupted the prayer. Like, who are y'all? Like, they, we talking about God. God wanted to love everybody, not just y'all in this prayer circle. He wanted to add somebody else in this prayer circle. And y'all like, uh. hey, come on, man. One thing I do know, and that's one thing for sure, God is good. God is great.